What a beautiful moment. You can see my favorite charging device, the Alpitronic Hypercharger. And where are we? This is the Mirn, where Alego has had hey, 350 kilowatt chargers to my surprise. Normally they're 320. Interesting. And here is a setup with some more triple chargers and 22 kilowatt in the back. But brand new testing setup, there is the hypercharger. So you know what I'm gonna use, even though it is still only five o'clock. And um, at five o'clock you can only choose um, 100 kilometers per hour on the Dutch highway and it's crowded even so yeah I'm here with plenty of energy still here we go 34% what will be the charging rate I'm curious 22 seconds to start, more or less. Four hundred volts, one hundred fifty amps, one hundred seventy amps, one hundred ninety amps. No, 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 one hundred and ninety amps right now. Okay, so yeah, it will be interesting try this next time when I'm really empty but it's the first time today that I'm seeing 74 kilowatts of charging speed so that's a good sign you can hear the cooling going and the cable I don't feel a buzz but if it really supports 150 kilowatts, it's probably liquid cooled. I would think, at least. So, yeah. Here we are. What does the car report? At 74 kilowatts, it says 500 kilometers per hour. Well, sounds impressive, right? It means nothing, clearly, but... Okay, so this is uh, Allego de Meern, which is right next to Utrecht, a bit to the west. And um, yeah, this is quite a serious setup now because three CCS vehicles can do 150 kilowatts or more. Need to bring a Porsche once. And there's a 22 kilowatt charging. I wonder, I would expect to be, to find even more 22 kilowatts because it's nice if you have dinner and you're already fully charged that you can at least, you know, just uh, pre-cool, pre-heat and so on. And these triple chargers, you can see that there's a difference between them because here, these cables are so long that they're completely in the street and here these cables are much shorter so you need better parking skills and it's nice to have the two options probably two generations because the the one on the right looks older I would say no way to prove it of course or I mean well there there would be ways to prove it actually but um, it's so dark. So how's the charging session going? Unfortunately, already a charging speed drop before we hit 40%. Not very encouraging. The car also reports 478 kilowatt, uh, kiloma, kilometers per hour. So yeah, I would expect this speed to stay like this for a while um, but really I don't need it to get home anyway it was just a test I'm very happy to see that Allego is testing the 
Alpitronic hypercharger. I wonder how many they will order and how quickly these will be at least put next to the EFA checks. No need to take them away. But really nice if we put some extra hyperchargers around the country and especially if they're gonna really build out in France. Please, please, please just put hyperchargers only in France because we need the best infrastructure in France that we can get. Thank you very much, Alego. Signing out. So 15 minutes, added some stuff to charge map, 17 and a half kilowatts charged, time to go home. Oh, it doesn't let me click on it, so if you drive the Citroen E-Jumpy, you actually need to stop it manually because if I press the unlock on the key, that actually doesn't help me. You can hear the unlocking sound. No buttons that you need to press on the car. Beautiful. Thank you Alpitronic. Thank you Allego. And Citroën. Ciao.